Welcome back to another episode of Small Business Quick Wins. And today we're going to talk about something that is so powerful for your small business, and that is the power of segmentation. This is an absolute game changer if it's not something you've really thought about and focused on. And what do I mean by that? Do you communicate with all of your customers the same way, right? Do you treat new customers the same way with a customer that let's say you haven't heard from in a year? Or do you treat customers who spend the most money with you the exact same way that you treat customers who have barely spent any money with you? Segmenting out these different populations of your customers and treating them differently and communicating with them differently can radically change the sales and the pipeline and the future of your business. So I want to go over three different segments that you want to create, and then you want to build all of your outreach around these three segments, your sales calls, your direct mail promotions, your email campaigns, the insertions in your billing statements, everything, everywhere. So the first one is new customers. You've worked very hard to get this new customer. Maybe you're a CPA and now you're doing the accounting for a small business. Maybe you're an HVAC company. You just, you just won the business from a new homeowner. Whatever it is, you're a real estate agent. You just got a new listing. You have a new customer. You want to let them know that you're excited. You want to say, hey, we are so happy to have you on board. Here is something else we know you'll love, right? Make your new customers Feel that attention and don't just treat them like all of your other customers. They're not just going into the pool with everybody else saying, welcome on board. We have something awesome for you now that you jumped on board. The second group is lapsed customers. Those customers who have disappeared. Where did they go? It is so hard and so expensive to get a new customer that when you lose one, unless it went epically horrible, if it went epically horrible, okay, they moved on, you moved on, it's okay. But assuming it didn't go epically horrible, you want to win these people back. Now, sometimes maybe their services do. Maybe you're providing them a service. They don't even realize that they need your service, right? You want to say, hey, by the way, your services do. Do you realize it's been a year? Do you realize it's been six months? And by the way, if you come back, we have a special discount for you. Let them know that you want their business back. And if it's not that their services do and they just have lapsed, reach out to them and say, hey, listen, we really would like to get you back on board. We have a new service. We have a new offering. And we have this special discount that only you could take advantage of because this is only for our previous customers, our past customers. So lapsed customers is that second population. The other group that I think is the most untapped resource is biggest spenders. Not all customers are the same, okay? They are the ones that isolate out. Take your, take your database of all the people that spend money with you this past year. Okay, now sort it by how much they are spending. Take that top 20, 10%, that top 20% of who is spending the most money with you and let's show them some love. It's not that you're going to go to them and say, hey, you're spending a lot of money with our organization. Please spend more. No, you want to make sure that you have the absolute best relationship with these customers. So you go to them and say, we really appreciate you. Here is something for you. No, it does not cost an additional penny. Okay, here's something extra for you because we appreciate this relationship because you want to make sure that they stay with you, they keep spending, and they feel that love from you. So this segmentation can have a massive, massive impact on the trajectory of your business. Now, before we get to the stats that blew my mind on this topic, I want to let you know that this podcast is exclusively presented by Thrive. Thrive is amazing. It is a do-it-all small business software. And if you're not familiar with Thrive, you got to check them out. It's thrive.com, T-H-R-Y-V.com. They are where small businesses are able to run better. They allow you to do everything you need to do to communicate effectively, to manage your day-to-day, -to, -day, to grow your business all in one place. They allow you to do all the segmentation that we're talking about today, all the different types of communication in all the different channels. Thrive allows you to do that. So check Thrive out at thrive.com. Now, let's get into the stats that blew my mind. We talk about segmentation. 
this is wild. This is data from Campaign Monitor. And their data says this, businesses that use segmentation strategies experience a 760% increase in revenue. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Just by carving out these different populations in your own business and speaking to them in a voice that is specific to who they are and how they interact with you, that is how you win. How about cost reduction? Segmenting your marketing efforts can result in a 50% reduction in marketing costs. That's per Gartner. When we talk about marketing costs, maybe in a certain zip code or in a certain neighborhood, right? Homes are of a different size or there's a different income. And we talk about segmentation. It doesn't have to be about new customers or customers that you've lost. You could be targeting people in your database, for example, right? That you know can afford a certain service or maybe there's a certain service that is for a smaller home right? Or for people that have a lesser income, whatever it is, right? Segmenting can mean many, many different things, but it can save you a lot of marketing dollars because if you just are spraying out everything to everybody, you're just hoping and that's not how you're successful. And then the last one is really interesting. And this one's from Nielsen. They're talking about product development. Segmentation helps businesses identify niche markets and they could tailor products specific to customer needs. And this is results in a 33% increase in new product success rates, meaning that let's say you have a new product or service. It's not going to be relevant for all of your customers. There's going to be a population, a subset within your customer base that is going to be perfect for segment them out talk to them specifically about this product or service. That's how you win. So all of this, take it all in. It's all about segmentation and not thinking about your customers as just your customers, but just lots of different groupings within your own business. Really powerful stuff. Doesn't cost you an extra dollar. Hope you check out future episodes of Small Business Quick Wins. Please leave this thing a review. Please subscribe to it. Thanks for being here.